Hi, welcome to our daily encounter. Three chapters in a row shows David demonstrating mercy on his enemies. Uh, we saw this in our reading yesterday when David spared Saul's life uh, in chapter 24. Uh, if you remember the story, uh, Saul, I'm sorry, David and his men were in the cave and Saul comes in to relieve himself. And uh, David comes and cuts a piece of his robe off, but, but does nothing to injure Saul himself. Uh, and then after Saul leaves, then David steps out and shows Saul uh, the torn, or the piece of robe that he had, and how he had spared uh, Saul's life, because he did not want to stretch out his hand against the Lord's anointed. And Saul shows uh, remorse for chasing after David, and... Uh, kind of makes a vow that he wouldn't chase uh, David anymore. And then we get into chapter 25. And we have this story of Nabal. Uh, David had uh, kind of protected Nabal's sheep while, while the men were, were working with the sheep. And uh, David sends a message to Nabal uh, requesting that uh, he would help uh, David's men, uh, give them some things to eat. And Nabal basically turns him down. He says, I, uh, basically, I, I don't know who you are. Why would I help you? Um, and just very much returns uh, David's uh, help to Nabal with evil. Returns uh, evil for good, uh, as David puts it. And so David gets really mad, and, and he gets his men together. They all gird on their swords, and they're about to go and strike Nabal's household and totally clean the place out. But Abigail comes, Nabal's wife, and she implores David not to have mercy, uh, not to uh, do this thing. She brings a gift to him, a quite large gift of uh, food and different things for David and his men. And uh, David refrains. He says, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I did not stretch out my hand to do evil against Nabal. Well, the Lord ends up striking Nabal, and Nabal ends up dying anyways. Um, and so this was a demonstration by the Lord, uh, I believe, to David that, hey, if you'll just hold off, if you won't take vengeance into your own hands, I will take vengeance out for you. And, and this becomes helpful to David as we get to the third time in which David shows mercy, uh, in chapter 26. And this time, Saul's in the middle of his army, and he's asleep. And, and David sneaks into the camp, and uh, his servant is there with him. And the servant wants him to just strike uh, Saul to death. Basically, you know, the Lord has delivered him into your hands. Strike him down. And David says, no, 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 I will not do violence against the Lord's anointed. And so the way, all they do is take Saul's spear and his jug. And, and they leave the camp. And then uh, they have a similar instance of what he did with the robe where he goes out and he shows the spear and he shows the jug of water uh, and of course Saul once again feels sorry for chasing after David and so three times in three chapters we see uh, this happening David having a chance to render vengeance and revenge upon people who had mistreated him and he refrains from doing it uh, he shows mercy instead uh, it's no wonder that uh, it was told of David that he was a man after God's own heart. And what this does for us is it gives us a good example of what we should do when people mistreat us. Uh, there's actually a New Testament passage that relates to this. And uh, David basically demonstrated what is taught in the scripture almost to a T. Uh, or basically to a T. In Romans chapter 12... In verse 17, it says, Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Uh, so he says, "Don't." Re this is Paul speaking to the Romans, and he says, Don't repay evil to evil to anyone. Uh, and then he goes on to say, Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Uh, and there it's in the context of not rendering uh um, your own justice, your own vengeance against another person who has wronged you. He says, Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Again, this, this really takes us back to the story of Nabal. 
Uh, and eventually, in the, with the story of Saul, as we when we get to the end of uh, Saul's life, we'll see how it occurred there. But we we see it right now with Nabal how the Lord took vengeance on him for what he did against David. David didn't have to do it. So David's hands were clean from violence, uh, and the Lord stepped in and took care of Nabal for him. Uh, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And he says, but on our side, on our part of, of it, it says, but if your enemy is hungry, feed him. And if he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Uh, we have a phrase that says, kill him with kindness. Uh, that's kind of what is being expressed there. Uh, somebody does something against you, don't lash back. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, return something good to that person. Um, if, if anything else, uh, you'll, make, you'll make them feel bad for what they did because you return good for what they did uh, to you. Uh, but um, also it's, it's a, a, an act of faith in that you are trusting God, that God's going to take care of the situation, that you don't have to take matters into your own hands. Um, that demonstrates a lot of faith in the Lord, that He is watching over your life, and He will uh, render justice and vengeance on those who work against us. Uh, and this could be in personal matters, uh, you know, to the slightest things. It might be just someone says a cross word to you, uh, maybe they put you down. You know, that, that, that gut reaction is uh, to return... A word back to them, right? Uh, fight fire with fire, uh, but we gotta we gotta abstain from doing that. Uh, a, per, a person might slander us, or, or talk behind our back, or uh, maybe even do us uh, physical harm. And Jesus said that if someone slaps you on uh, the right cheek, turn to him the left also. Uh, just to have this attitude of you know what, I'm not gonna take vengeance in my own hands, I'm not going to take justice into my own hands, I'm going to allow the Lord uh, to do that. My part, my responsibility is just to do good to all people, to people who are, act favorable to me and also to those who are my enemies and who are hostile to me. Um, this is the, the disposition of the Christian, or it ought to be the disposition of the Christian. Um, so this is a very uh, difficult thing to do at times. Uh, sometimes it goes very much against what is natural to us, uh, but it's something that the Lord is calling us to do, and we just need to pray that the Lord will help us and strengthen us uh, to be able to treat our enemies in the way that He wants us to. So these are just some things to think about today. I thank you guys for watching the video. I love you guys. God bless.